To finish off our lecture on fungi, the evolution of fungi, I want to talk about their reproductive events. And I'm actually not going to go in as much detail as fungi's reproduction is concerned. There's so much more out there to discover, as with a lot of these chapters. It kind of feels rushed through because there's so many different topics to discuss. I want to hit up the highlights. Fungi typically reproduce by spores. Spores are produced either sexually or asexually. So what's a spore? A spore is a single reproductive cell that's capable of growing into a new organism. So here, I can actually see a mushroom being shown, and trillions, tons and tons of spores are stored in what's called a sporangium. Spores are released when an event is triggered, and those spores then go on to create hyphae. Those hyphae then are going to sprout new hyphae, extend that branching network. Eventually, a mycelium is formed, multiple web-like network of hyphae, where they are able to absorb uh, nutrients quite efficiently. And because of all of those energy needs being met, a new fruiting body, a mushroom, appears. So here I can see a beautiful example of spores coming out of what's known as a puffball fungus. That's an event that releases these spores. It's actually really neat how this occurs. And I can see trillions of those little guys that'll be eventually carried off by the wind and find a new spot for that hyphae to grow. The reproductive structure of a fungus then is the mushroom or a puffball that's going to house, pop up above ground and house and eventually release these spores into the air current. In addition, some fungi can reproduce asexually by events called fragmentation or budding. Here I can see an example of a yeast that's budding. Remember, a yeast is a one-celled eukaryotic fungus. So that one cell then is going to bud off of the parent. So it's different from saying binary fission because I don't have the complete splitting, nor do I have the same size parent as the same size daughter, but it is very similar to what's going on here. And you will have genetically identical um, daughter cell being produced. Eventually more buds will form. Uh, fragmentation is a similar process as well where fungi can reproduce asexually.